You know, Af- Alfie Oaks, Seed to Table CEO. Alfie, we just had these reports from Target, but particularly Walmart and about the, from the CEO about the food. You know, they said, oh, one of the things we're doing, we're not selling gallons of milk anymore. We're selling half gallons because people can't afford it. And the CEO said, hey, the price per basket, the way they, one of the ways they analyze it, it's gone up dramatically, but the items have decreased. What is going on with, with food throughout the country, and where do you see this inflation going with, our, with the, the nation's food? Well, uh, you know, the, the, the most disgraceful thing that I hear right now from, uh, coming from the left is that, this, uh, that the, the, you know, the reason for this food shortage is somehow global warming or they're blaming it on, uh, on, on, on Putin or, you know, there's always a blame game. This is, this is very intentional. They call it a perfect storm, but it's a perfect storm that's been created, uh, it's been, been specifically created. And, and I believe by an arm of the, of the one world, uh, water order, uh, you know, when you, when you see uh, the things that are going on, such as the, the the cattle farmers are not getting more money for their beef right now, but we're seeing uh, beef prices uh, going up 47%. Uh, the chicken farmer are not getting more money for their chickens, but chicken is, is up 80, 80%. Uh, uh, eggs are up 120%. The egg farmer, same thing. Uh, the, the You know, we're, we're watching kind of a, a takeover of, um, if, you, if you look at all these national uh, brands, national companies, uh, they they are predominantly controlled by by you know Vanguard, BlackRock, State Street. You, when you see who's controlling the board there, it's very dangerous. Uh, and, and this is this is one thing that you know I don't think it's just a coincidence. And 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 I don't think that the food inflation has even begun to to reach uh, to reach the levels that, that we're going to see here. A lot of these companies are on contract with Walmart right now. And they've been seeing all these input rises on cost of of, of, of their packaging and, and fuel and shipping. And, so, so, and, uh, so, so, but hang, yeah, hang, hang on a second. Slow down. So is it the input? Since the, the guy's not making any more money and he's not seeing the, 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 the increase to him, is that because his input cost of whether it's fertilizer or feedstock or whatever it is, transportation, the logistics, that's going up? Or are you claiming because Larry Fink at BlackRock and, and Steve Schwartzman, and you got Schwartzman, you got Dalio, you got Vanguard, because they own bigger control positions in these companies and can vote proxies for pension funds of the state, putting guys on the board. Is it their ESG policies or are they ha- is it the ESG policies that are affecting it or the input costs because of Biden's mismanagement of company? Or is it both? I mean, I don't understand how BlackRock is directly uh, tied to the higher input cost, Alfie Oaks. Well, so somebody's making the money when when the when the American consumer is paying that much more. I mean, I, I built the store seed to table. You know, we came against this insanity of the lockdowns from day one. We made a lot of national attention. We we have you know eighty thousand square foot store. I try to not have any any of the of of the national brands in there for the reasons really because I think most of it's garbage. It's stuff I wouldn't put in my body. But but. There's, there's something going on when they're charging this much more. I mean, I believe that, you know, these these like Tyson that processes so much of the beef, they're making more money than ever. You can look at their you can look at their earnings, look at their, their P&Ls. They're making more money than ever. The farms are, aren't making it. And and the, the big problem is most of these companies are on contract by quarter four. You know, these companies that have been selling this product to Walmart, not only are they going to go and hedge the for the losses that they've just incurred over these last few months, but they're going to be hedging again. So you're going to see price increases in quarter four of this year and going into uh, 2023 like okay. we've never, never seen before. And uh, Hang I don't think the American this, people are ready. For- don't, don't bury the lead. Okay, I want to go back to this. You're saying as bad as the food inflation, because I'm telling you, Target's down 25% today. It's wiped out a quarter of its market cap. You know, it's, I think we're down 15%. Walmart. And Walmart's applying a lot of this to the food because Walmart's become such a big grocer. Are you seeing right now, as you see it, because they got these contracts, these guys are going to get wiped unless they're hedged. You think in the third quarter, in the fourth quarter this year, you're going to see even more explosive food inflation at the stores than we're seeing now? Absolutely. I'm, I'm going out to the food shows buying. I'm, I'm seeing what we're going to have to pay for the product that we're trying to get for quarter four uh, for, for my stores. And it's it's. Uh, it, it you know it's it's as much as I'm selling it for right now. We're gonna see we're gonna see massive um, you know massive food input cost increases from where we're at right now. People are or people are alarmed right now. I can tell you that it's only the beginning, and uh, and we, we got to get this straightened out. 
Alfie, the, how do people follow you? Are you on social media? You have a website? You can go to Food to Table. Yeah, I have a new website called AlfieForAmerica.com. Uh, AlfieForAmerica.com. Uh, A L F I E Al- for America.com. Yeah. Alfie for America. Do you all, are you also on social media besides the website? Yeah, we're um, just about we're, we're just about on every social media platform that hasn't kicked me off. Uh, we, we're we're you know we're. we're <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm so, sh- I'm so shocked about that. No, I want to have you back on, uh, either later this week or early next week to go through in detail about this third. What we try to do is look over the hill, like Wellington did, right? To tell people, hey, look at the forces that are going to happen. Prepare for this. I really want to go through because right now they're going to be yammering around the White House the next couple of days, saying, oh, we got this under control. This is going to get better. Things are going to get better. It's not going to get better. It's just not I, I, so get I, I, I have, I'm one of the largest agriculture vegetable growers in the state of Florida, and I'd love, love to go into detail about that. But we're cutting back on our farming this year because of the input costs, and and, and that's a whole other subject that would take a while. But uh, I, I'd love to go in further detail uh, with you yeah. that later on. Uh, yeah. Okay, Alfie for America, and do you have a handle on social media that people can? We'll put it up. But do you have a handle like on Getter or what's your what's your Twitter handle? Uh, it's, uh, Alpi for America, uh, and, and okay. Alpi Oaks, my personal Alpi Oaks on, on Facebook, if I'm not uh, kicked off, uh, right now, but, uh, and, and uh, Alpi for America on Facebook as well. You've been on the worm, so I'm sure you get kicked off. Alfie, we're looking forward to, to having you here. You and Walsh are, are, are two go-to guys now of food and energy. And by the way, they're inextricably linked. The fertilizer. Crop. He, I was going to come back and tell you, hey, the input costs, part of it's dr- driven by a big, har- a big part of it's by energy. Alfie, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank, thank you for having me.